What's up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you guys my top 10 most worn fragrances this past 2020. I cannot believe it's already 2021. What the heck? I'm so excited to see all the fragrances that come out this year. Definitely like, comment, and subscribe. Also follow me on social media, which would be somewhere up here. We already know the deal with that. And let's get right into it. Now the first fragrance I have to show you guys, I know you have already predicted it. This is Confetti Cake Pop. This is my one true love. I have one backup of this and one lotion actually, which I have not touched because I did not stock up on the lotions before they got rid of it. This is truly that warm bakery fragrance. The lasting power of this is amazing. I love wearing this to bed. My boyfriend is obsessed with this stuff. It's just beautiful. It's warm. It goes really well with my body chemistry and the lasting power is amazing who wouldn't want to smell like cake let me know the packaging they just did it above and beyond on this fragrance line the next fragrance we have is aqua kiss now this is the most fresh beautiful expensive smelling floral i cannot even rave about this enough i know i've mentioned this many times on my channel if you want to purchase a fragrance but not spend the money on a really expensive fragrance get this because i'm telling you it smells like the most expensive perfume this stuff does smell more expensive than some of my actual perfumes that i know is crazy in itself this stuff is beautiful it's fresh it's lively i love this for all times a year because it is a floral fresh fragrance which we know you could wear all year round it goes really well all times a year this stuff will always be seriously one of my favorite fragrances it's so funny when people ask me what's your favorite bath and body works fragrance what's your favorite victoria's secret fragrance i literally cannot choose I have so many fragrances and I love them all so individually, like literally I'm talking about them as if they're my children, like I love them all in their own way. The next fragrance that I have worn so much this year, this is Coastal Hydrangeas. Now I do have one other fragrance mist and sadly I don't have the lotion, I don't have the body cream, nothing else, just the body mist because during the semi-annual sale in the summertime, the lotion and the cream were off the website so quick, I was so upset. This stuff is seriously amazing. Again, this is one of those expensive fragrances. It just smells rich and fresh and good. They don't smell alike, these two, because this one's definitely more aquatic. If you like more aquatic, I would go with this one. But they do have the similar type of vibe that they give off. Very fresh, floral, beautiful. This just brings back so many memories of summer. You know how fragrance does that. I love that about fragrance. It's so cool. I just love this stuff. The lasting power is amazing. It's not that like style grandma floral. I hate that term because there are grandmas out there smelling fresh, smelling good. But you know what I mean when I say that. My next one is Bare Vanilla. This will always just be a classic of mine. It's so warm and beautiful and sexy. This is that night out, date night fragrance. I've mentioned this many times on my channel before. This is just gorgeous. The cashmere, the vanilla in here. Yeah, it literally just says whipped vanilla and soft cashmere. It's the most complimentary fragrance for my um, body chemistry. This lasts a really long time on clothing as well. It's just amazing. Pick this up with the lotion. I'm telling you guys, if you love vanilla, a more mature vanilla as well, then go with this one. If you have um, warm vanilla sugar or if you've tried that out, that and this are very polar opposite vanillas. This is a lot more of a mature vanilla fragrance. The next fragrance I have to show you is Into the Night. We know how much I love her. She, again, is just that beautiful date night sexy fragrance whenever i wear this i'm always wearing like a blazer and just something nice like it's one of those night out fragrances it's perfect it's definitely more of a winter time fragrance but i have worn this a lot throughout the summer at night time just because it makes me feel super sexy super good it's not too warm but it's beautiful it smells very expensive, very sophisticated. I love this stuff. It's one of those fragrances that's not an everyday type fragrance. Of course, you could always do what you want with fragrances, but this is definitely more of that night out um, or very fancy attire type fragrance. 
The next one is Velvet Petals. Oh my god, I can't. Gorgeous. And this has an almond note, which if you know me, I'm not a huge almond fragrance person. But this is beautifully done. The almond note in here works. It's so tastefully done. I love this fragrance. I just think it's girly, but it's warm. You can wear this for many different occasions. You can wear it during the day, at nighttime. It can be a daily fragrance, but it can also be like a sexy, sweet, girly fragrance. I just love this so much. The next fragrance I have to show you is Gingham. It would not be a 2020 favorite fragrance miss video if I did not show you guys this. As we know, I actually just picked up the um, perfume in it, which I'm so excited to pair together. Uh, I cannot. Like, I literally cannot wait. It's going to be so exciting when I just put it all on at once. This stuff is just a classic, beautiful, fresh fragrance. It's out of the shower type fresh. It literally just smells like a really clean white t-shirt. That's exactly what I get. I love this stuff. It's just fresh and good and it works for all different occasions. I've worn this at nighttime during the day. This is a great fragrance for all year round because of how fresh it is, especially the spring and summertime. I'm obsessed with this. The lasting power of this isn't amazing, but if you pair it with the lotion and any type of fresh perfume, you're bound to smell so good all day. But even just this and the lotion, throw on some Vaseline on your wrist, you guys are good, and behind the ear, you know all the tricks. I will do a whole other video on how to keep your fragrance on all day long, so stay tuned for that. The next one I have is more of my summertime fragrance. This is Fiji Sunshine Guavatini. Now, I just, I can't. This stuff is so stinking good. This literally is just summer to me. It's so good. Oh my god. I can't. Their summer stuff was off the chain this year. I can't. The Fiji Sunshine Guavatini. Seriously, you guys, Fiji Sunshine Guavatini, it better be back next year. It is very, very sweet, but it's so gorgeous. It's very, like, tropical. This smells just like a straight-up, like, Bora Bora vacation, I'm telling you. It's so fresh. It's so sweet. I've gotten loads of compliments when I wear this fragrance. It's just amazing. I went through the lotion or the body cream in this so quick. It was ridiculous. I wish I stocked up on this so I could have it throughout the year, but let's pray that they bring it back next year. The lasting power is amazing. It's just overall a great fragrance. The next one is Strawberry Pound Cake. Now, we all have journeys with fragrances. I'm going to jump into a little quick short story of my journey with Strawberry Pound Cake. Now, when I first bought Strawberry Pound Cake, I was obsessed with it. I was wearing it all the time. Out of all my fragrances, this is definitely in like the top 10 most complimented just because I've gotten insane loads amounts of compliments off of this fragrance. Then I started to get tired of the fragrance. It wasn't that I wasn't like liking it anymore. I just was tired of smelling like this. Then I gave it a break for a few months. I was like, ah, I'm not such a big fan anymore wearing that on my body. Nope. A few months later, obsessed with it again. I was like, what am I saying? But that's just like fragrance, you know? You'll, you could fall in and out of love with fragrances. Sometimes you like it better than others depending on the time of year, just depending on the circumstance, you know? But yes, this stuff is very sweet, but it's nice and light and toned down. I swear it's like a strawberry shortcake doll. This stuff is stunning. It's very girly. I've gotten loads of compliments. The lasting power isn't crazy amazing. It's not as good as Confetti Cake Pop's lasting power. But if you pair this with the lotion, I'm telling you, and an oil, especially like a body oil or something, this will last a good amount of time. The next fragrance I have to show you is Champagne Toast. This is the most girly, sweet, bubbly fragrance. If you don't like bubbly fragrances, then this is definitely not for you. This stuff is just gorgeous. The lasting power is amazing. You pair this with the body cream especially. I don't have the lotion, so I can't really judge that one. But the body cream especially, 
put these two together you're gonna smell like it all day long I also have worn this all year round in the summertime the spring the winter it's just one of those fragrances that goes really well throughout all the seasons I really enjoy this stuff please pick this up if you like girly fragrances if you don't like bubbly notes then you probably are not gonna like this but it is truly amazing the next one is Dance in the Rain. This again is another very fresh fragrance. I get definitely like rain vibes off of this. This literally smells like a fresh forest with like rain. I can't even describe it. It's crazy. It smells insanely fresh. This stuff is stunning. It is the most beautiful, fresh, long-lasting fragrance. They need to bring this back. Like, they have to. I can't. It's seriously that good. It's one of those fragrances that when I do run out of this, I will repurchase off of, like, Mercari or somewhere because I just can't go without this. It's amazing. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, definitely let me know down below. I, I can't wait to see all the blessings that God has in store for each and every one of us this year. God bless all of you, and I will see you in my next one.